charcoal production and use of firewood as cooking fuel in Kenya is being blamed for fueling the death of the country's forest. Many families in Kenya rely on them. A small percentage, especially in urban areas, use cooking gas, a dirty form of cooking fuel causing health risks to the users. Um, for too long, Kenyans have been exposed to cooking solutions that are dirty, that are unsafe, that are very expensive, and that are slow. These are cooking solutions like um, charcoal, like kerosene, like firewood, um, and those have huge health ramifications, but also are expensive to the consumers. Cocoa fuel burns completely, and it neither produces soot, smell, nor emits pollutant gases into the atmosphere. We are mainstreaming clean bioethanol fuel uh, to be used for cooking purposes right now in Nairobi and then um, immediately after that, the rest of Kenya. What does this mean? This means that with a two burner cooker that you can see behind me, which is a cocoa cooker uh, and a cocoa point ATM, one can be able to use a fuel that is smart, that is safe, that is clean, that is af and that is affordable uh, and also reliable. With a blue flame and two burners, Coco Network says cooking time can be cut by up to 50% compared to kerosene and charcoal. Kenya, through the Ministry of Energy, aims to put the country on the map to support the world's bid to 100% clean energy. This is complementing our other energy sources and we are very delighted that it is a clean product, it is safe, it is cost effective and it is emissionless. So it addresses the health aspect when you compare it with the charcoal or kerosene. The principal secretary says the government will exempt farms such as cocoa fuel from value-added tax to encourage more of the would-be clean energy industrialists willing to invest in Kenya. There is going to be motivation of more people coming up with the products that use or that can um, uh, grow plants that eventually will produce ethanol. You know, this is basically ethanol, and ethanol is not on, cannot only just come from sugarcane. You can still get ethanol from other sugar-based plants. Cocoa users have also been supplied with biofuel ATMs around Nairobi in the country, where they can refill their fuel canisters. Each cocoa cooker, together with a reusable canister full of 500 shillings worth of bioethanol fuel, will retail at 6,999 Kenyan shillings. Give us some mana. Switch TV.